हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू यू वी एस क्लास सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नाइन यूजेस ऑफ प्लांट्स सो के बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू टेक आउट योर बुक्स सो यू ऑल ऑफ यू टेक योर बुक्स एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट ओके ऑल राइट सो एवरी वन रेडी विथ योर बुक्स ऑल राइट now we will start the chapter okay so first you see the name of the chapter uses of plants so in our uh, previous chapter we have learned about plants that plants are of various types so in this chapter we will read about the uses because plants have lots of uses okay so what are that uses here you see circle the things that are made of wood here few things are given you have to circle the things which are made of wood and you will do it yourself okay you can easily do it who do you know na so you will do it yourself so let's start the chapter we cannot live without plants plants help us in many ways some plants give us food while others give us shelter and clothes so without plants we cannot live because we get a lot of thing from plants okay because plants gives us food and some plants gives us shelter and clothes next next the topic plants give us food now which which food we get from plants we need food to live and grow because without food we cannot stay for growing and for living we need food plants give us food to eat food items from plants include fruits vegetables grains nuts and spices so these are all the food items we get from plants fruits we get from plants vegetables we get from plants grains then nuts and the spices which are used in cooking so these all we get from plants okay here you see unjumble the names of the fruits and vegetables shown below here jumble words are given you have to unjumble you have to see the picture of the fruits and vegetables and you have to write the correct one so you write it down this and this you will do it afterwards all right next turn the chapter next topic you see fruits we eat fruits of many plants so some plants are there which gives us fruits and we eat that fruits here some pictures are given apple banana mango grapes orange pineapple so these are some uh, common fruits no we get from plants and we all eat so fruits we get from plants next you see vegetables we eat many vegetables because every day in our lunch dinner no vegetables are common thing vegetables are good for our health it makes us healthy so they are actually different parts of the plant so these vegetables these are different parts like uh, you have got no in the in your previous chapter parts of plant the fruits then root stem leaves no these all are parts you have got so these vegetables are that parts so here you see few vegetables are given vegetables that are roots this all the vegetables we are eating the root part like carrot carrot is under the ground and leaves are outside so carrot is a root and we eat the root part radish it is under the ground and leaves are above the ground turnip same thing turnip is present inside the ground and the leaves are above the ground so these vegetables we eat the roots next vegetables that are stems stems give support to the plant so potato onion ginger these vegetables we eat the stems next vegetables that are leaves like lettuce spinach okay these are leaves of the plant and we are not eating the roots or stems of spinach plant we are eating the leaves of that spinach so here like carrot we are not eating the leaves we are eating the roots potato we are eating the stems spinach we are eating the leaves next vegetables that are flowers like cauliflower broccoli 
सो दीज आर फ्लावर्स कॉलीफ्लावर रूट्स स्टेम्स लीव्स वी आर नॉट इटिंग वी आर इटिंग द फ्लावर ओके नेक्स्ट यू सी वेजिटेबल्स दैट आर फ्रूट्स ब्रिंजल टोमेटो क्यूकम्बर दीज आर फ्रूट्स फ्रूट्स ऑफ द प्लांट वी आर इटिंग वेजिटेबल्स दैट आर सीड्स लाइक पीस ब्रॉड बीन कॉर्न यू नो ना पीस ग्रीन पीस सो दिस वन दिस अपर आउटसाइड वन वी आर नॉट इटिंग we are eating the inside the seed part so some vegetables we are eating the roots some vegetable stem some are fruits some seeds and some flowers so these vegetables these all are some parts of the plant okay and we are eating that part of the plant so our next topic is cereals and pulses these also we get from plants we eat seeds after being dried of some plants as grains grains are the seeds of the plant which we eat after being dried okay the seeds we are taking and we let them dry after the seeds are dried we eat them as grains they include cereals and pulses so cereals rice wheat oats these are common no in our everyday diet rice is common wheat with wheat we make the no, chapatis oats these are some common everyday we are eating in lunch dinner breakfast we are taking and these are pulses like kala chana rajma arhar dal lots of dals pulses we are eating we are taking no dal so dal is a pulses then chana you know kala chana black color rajma rajma chawal na no, common then rajma these all are pulses so cereals and pulses these are the seed part of the plant which part seeds part and the seeds when it's being dried we are taking as food all right next turn your page next topic you see plants provide food for animals so plants not only provide food for the human beings it provide food for the animals as well as the birds also plants provide food for many animals like cow elephant deer monkey bear camel and birds because cows are eating grass and grass is a type of plants animals are eating no this bear then elephant these all are eating plants birds also grains they are eating we have got no grains pulses and dals birds are eating grains so plants not only provide food for the human being it provide food for both human being and the animals also all right next you see plants provide fibers so in the beginning we have got that plants not only give us food it gives us shelter and means clothes also we get from uh, this plants fibers are very thin threads it's very thin threads okay fibers plants provide fibers like cotton jute and coir these are used to make clothes ropes bags quilts and so on plant fibers are also used to make paper so fibers are very thin threads and we get fibers from plants like um, cotton clothes see cotton frock cotton dresses we are wearing no cotton shirt cotton frock cotton dresses so this cotton where from we are getting this cotton this cotton we get from plants cotton plants then rope rope is made up of coir coir rope this is also small I mean it's very thin threads are there with that ropes are made then cotton filling for quilt so inside this quilts and all cottons are filled so this is also we are getting from plants then jute with jute this uh, mats are made um, bags are made up of jute so jute is also a type of fiber and we get it from plants and uh, most important paper we are writing we are reading no this books and all copy everything is made from paper so where from we are getting paper paper we get from plants all right so plants are very useful it gives us food it gives us fibers so 
next our topic is plants provide shelter now how plants provide shelter plants provide shelter to many animals and birds because animals are taking you no know, in the jungle in the forest animals are taking shelter under the tree and birds they live on tree they make their nests on trees so trees are a very important shelter for the animals also for the birds also they also provide materials that we use to make our homes leaves thatch and wood are used for building houses so plants not only give shelter to the animals or birds it gives shelter to us also because this uh, kachcha houses no with this mud then thatch leaves with that kachcha houses are made then for doors and windows we need wood we are making no doors windows then table chair of wood so where from we are getting the wood we are getting wood from the plants so plants not only provide shelter to the birds and animals it provides shelter to us also to the human beings also okay so next topic is plants keep us healthy so plants keeps our body healthy plants purify the air that we breathe in it purifies it makes the air clean because in the last chapter you have got no about photosynthesis when the process of photosynthesis occurs plants release oxygen and that oxygen we are breathing you see this dirty air that is carbon dioxide plants are taking the dirty air and it gives us clean air because if plants will not provide oxygen we cannot take breath so it purifies the air that we breathe in okay so i hope you have understood the chapter so go through the video again and again read the chapter properly okay reading very important whenever you will get time read the chapters give proper reading spellings and all learn properly all right so okay so thank you everyone and take care